What's up, family? You all are in for a treat. I am about to do a free tutorial on one of the hottest gospel songs out right now, uh, Great Jehovah by J.J. Harrison. Man, I know my worship team, we do this song, and the church goes crazy every time they hear that intro, man. And I'm sure churches across the world, they just... Uh, just get really happy and excited when they hear it. Uh, this is definitely one of the greatest uh, songwriters of our times, man. Shout out to you, JJ. Hey, uh, but this song, uh, churches just love it right now. And I wanna teach you how to play it, whether you're a beginner uh, or a vocal director, uh, or it's just you and a drummer. I'm gonna break it down, uh, some elementary basic sort of chords that everybody can play. You can learn this, you can teach it to your kids. Uh, and I just wanna share, I just really wanna share, man. But if you haven't done so already, subscribe to this page, turn the notifications on, share this video, y'all. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, Great Jehovah by JJ Harrison, the key of B flat, let's go.
that simple. Um, and that was really, man, the basic, some basic chords, some basic triads that I'm about to show you all. That way you could just get comfortable, um, especially in this key, uh, the key of B flat, which has two flats, right? Uh, of course, B flat is one and E flat is the other. All right. So uh, again, I want to really share and break this stuff down. If you just want to learn this as a hobby or you want to play it at your church uh, or teach your kids how to play this song. Hey, here it is. All right. So we're in the key of B flat. Uh, there's two flats. All right. So let's uh, first understand the major scale. All right. B flat start. Whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. Now that is the major scale formula that works for any note that you start on. If you want to know the C major scale, that is the formula. All right. It's starting point. So whatever key you start on, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. All right. B flat. Go up a whole step. What is a whole step? It's two half steps or two semitones. A semitone is a half step. And a tone is a whole step. All right. So starting point. Whole step, whole step, half step. Whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. All right. So we're in the key of B flat. All right. So the intro um, started off as this uh, on the four with this guitar. Uh, rhythm happening right that guitar intro um, start off on a four which is E flat in the key of B flat so these scale degrees and these intervals um, I talk about them in my shameless plug my master class uh, and one of the courses that are uh, offered on my website georgegranville.com hey there's so much uh, material uh, there for you all sign up at georgegranville.com man tons of content that i've worked on uh just to take your plan to another level all right so um the four which is e flat right we're in the key of b flat so when i talk about the four what's the four in b flat it's e flat all right so it starts on the four and it's a basic E flat major triad. Triad means three notes, right? And it goes to this E flat major, E flat G, B flat, to this E flat sus two. That's the first two chords that the guitar player is doing. So we, what we want to do, we want to capture the song as best we can, like verbatim, like really uh, imitate it um, note from note, like do your best all right so especially if you're playing by yourself there's no band whether it's you and the vocals or you the drums and the vocalists um so uh yeah let's just try to mimic this song as best we can so that's what i was doing da, 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 da. they did that line the piano player on the record did that line which is g f d c to b flat That's what I did there. All right, so now after we did that line, we ended up on this B flat. And so I wanted to still kind of play that, those, those changes that were happening. Uh, all right, so there's two chords in there too. So it goes from this E flat major triad to this E flat sus two to this B flat major triad. B flat D F to an F major triad. Now, you may not say that's F, but it is, right? It's an inversion of F. It's some type of version of F. Let me prove to you uh, what it is. So here's the F major triad. We take that F and place it up here. We call that first inversion. We take we could take this A and play it up here. Call that second inversion, right? So F major triad, we will call this root position, all right? Now the root is any fundamental note uh, of a chord and or arpeggio. So 
that's the root. F is the root in this chord. So no matter what inversion you play, if F is on the bottom, it's that foundational, that fundamental note, it's some type of F major chord, all right? So you're gonna see also in this song that I'm using inversions of major triads or minor triads. I'm just using inversions. And I wanna challenge you to learn these inversions. And so what are, where are these inversions? What is an inversion? An inversion is the rearrangement of notes. And that's literally what I just did. For instance, let's go back to F major. F major. Take this F, place it up here. Take that A, place it up here. Take that C, and we're back to root position. All right, so you're going to see that a lot uh, in this tutorial. All right, so, so the first two notes in this line is G and B I'm sorry G and F I'm playing over B flat then D and C is played over F then and then the full band comes in but it's just you so now we're going to bring in this bass line now notice in my bass line in my left hand this bass line I am playing the the one and the five. They kind of make it more fuller, bring some depth to, to the uh, situation, especially if you're playing by yourself. This is, uh, act like there's no bass player. It's just you, all right? Uh-oh, B flat. Well, what inversion is it? That's some type of version of B flat. Here's the root position. First inversion, second inversion, all right? B flat to a F major over A. Then did this line C minor. Notice I'm playing a C and a G, the one and a five, and then a E flat chord. Now this is second inversion of E flat over G. And I'm playing G and E flat. So uh, back to a B flat major triad. Now I'm playing the octave up there. And then I add this little sprinkle. Now you're going to hear that type of movement or that sound in gospel. And almost every gospel song you can think of. What is that? That is going to the one, but you add that two in there. So we're going to call this a B flat sus two. Again, to understand harmonies and melodies, you got to understand intervals. Shameless plug again, shameless plug. Go to my website. I'm teaching you all of this. This theory, this language uh, is available on my website. These master classes, uh, tons of content of some some courses that would just expand your thinking and take your plan to a whole nother level. All right, let's go to the verse. You are God. So we start on the E flat. You are God. E flat, uh, second inversion, right? And you're in control. B flat, C D high, G minor, G, D, B flat, D, G. You're Lord of all, F major. Again, this is a different inversion of F major, but I'm playing, notice in my left hand, F and C. This is first inversion of F. Great I am, sovereign ruler, lion of juke, C minor, E flat major. You are God, back to B flat. Sprinkle, <laughs> you are God, and you're in control. Seated high, you are Lord of all, great I am, sovereign ruler, lion of Judah, you are God. Let's go to second verse, things will change uh, when we call, same thing on that name. Now this is different, it goes straight to F major this time to a C minor. So the chord progressions shift a little bit, but they're the same chords. I'm playing triads, y'all. Um, 
things will change when we call when we call on that name f major uh two and then i add that line in there and then kind of added a chord in there sort of like to help me get to that destination right what's the destination at e flat to the four so it's going to this from this um two three four now i'm saying two three four this is all relative to the key of b the tonic b flat the tonic which is the home base the tonic all right so um things will change when we call b flat um on that f great jehovah da, da, ba, ba. so it's a b flat over d d b flat in the left hand b flat d f back to the things would change when we call on that name let's take it out and then this musical interlude the guitar player did this but what did i just do there so i did this line it's an e flat major major triad now i'm doing inversions to try to follow the line that guitar player was doing e flat major triad and all i did was move this e flat to there which is just the first inversion of e flat major chord and i did it again move that g up here second inversion b flat f over a a f a c f this is the f major triad second inversion all right but uh, 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 uh. ride that e flat b flat f major again over a all different inversions back to the top and sprinkle you are gone and you're in control seated high you are lord of all great i am uh oh what did i just do there uh you are lord of all now i wanted to add that line so check this out i'm playing some type of f major now if i play that g you could technically call it at an f major nine right could technically call that an F major 9 because that's the 9 and F and then I did this B flat over D again just to get me to that E flat great I am sovereign ruler lion of Judah you are God right second verse things would change when we call on that Great Jehovah, things would change, and we call. Let's uh, fast forward. Let's act like we're taking it out. Great Jehovah, you're good, and we won't stop praising. All right, what am I playing there? So the bass line is this: C, E flat, G. F. Now I'm playing all fifths to kind of just make it sound a little bigger. Boom. Now I'm playing an E flat over that. Now, if you want to get technical, we can call that a C minor seven. Now, to really understand that, you have to again go watch some of my courses where I break this stuff down, like talking about intervals, building chords, harmonies. How chords are constructed but just trust me on this i'm calling it it is a c minor seven all right great jehovah that's an e flat major triad g minor now we played that g minor here this way earlier but now we're playing it root position so great jehovah you're good and we c minor seven e flat major g minor f major Great. Now the second time I did, uh, so um, it's like this open chord. We will call this in the jazz idiom, um, like a chordal voicing, right?
because they're all fourths apart. Now I said fourths, like we're talking about intervals again, the distance or the spaces in between uh, one note to the other, right? So, uh, 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 uh. you hear that line in this song a lot, especially towards the end. So, great Jehovah. Yeah. Kind of got this sus voicing, which is beautiful. You see that? Uh, great Jehovah. You're good and we won't stop. Praise. I'll do it again. Great Jehovah. You're good and we won't stop. You keep it simple like that and stop praising and we won't stop or we won't stop praising first way yeah that's the first way and we won't second way and then uh when that big part comes in bum, bum, bum. great job oh that's when the Singers are singing this unison part and they're singing it with so much power and authority. All right, so you could do that. So great. Notice that th these two notes are staying the same. You playing with this, this top note, this melody kind of thing. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. And then uh just have fun with that part and then it goes back stop praising and you won't stop praise and we won't I'm sorry <laughs> and we won't stop praising and we won't stop let's take it out to the special part again bum, bum, bum. you're good and we won't stop praising now is a special part you're good and we won't stop praising What is that? So there are some notes, and especially in gospel music, where it's not going to fit in that major scale. They kind of go outside the major scale. It disobeyed the laws of the major scale. And that's okay. All right. So it's, it's like this C major over B flat. And you hear that in gospel music all the time. So the piano player uh, who did a phenomenal job in playing this song, uh, and producing this song, honestly, kind of did this arpeggio up. So pretend like it's a C major uh, triad at the two. What's the two in C major? It's the D. Again, go check out some of my courses. I'm breaking some of this theory down. But um, here we go, I'm gonna just break it down. So it's honestly a C major over B flat. Now, if you wanna just get fancy and play the arpeggio, you can. Uh, or you could do it that way, just a regular C major triad. Or you can do it like this. I believe I tried to get really close to what the piano player did on a record. Uh, he started on an E. Alright, so, so, uh, Jehovah, and you're good, and you won't stop praising. And then go back, stop praising. Alright, so that's that nice little move in there. You can start on an E, G, C, D, back to E, 
G C D E G C D E G C D. Just go up the scale. So, so back to this. And you won't stop praising. And we won't. I'm messing up the words. And we won't stop praising. And we won't stop praising. Great Jehovah. Great Jehovah. Oh, good. And we won't stop praising. Now, the cool thing about any ending any song you could go straight to the major that's cool but sometimes adding that two in there the two would be flat as c right and just arpeggiating up now i taught you that that sprinkle right uh Uh, so, um, you are God in control. See that? You Lord of all. Great. So, my end of Judah, you are God. Things will change when we call on your name. Great, yeah. change <laughs> when we call alright <laughs> that's that song in the back yo I just wanted to sort of uh Man, it's just something about this instrument. Sometimes I just start playing and um, just start having fun, experimenting. Uh, I really do. As uh, I just love this instrument, y'all. Alright, so subscribe to this page if you want more content. Follow me on IG, y'all. Go to my website, georgegranville.com. Sign up for some of my master classes. Hey, also put in the comments some other songs you would like for me to break down. Some basic renditions of them, man. But I just wanted to start off with this song because I know it's pretty popular, especially in the church right now and a lot of people if you don't know how to play i just taught you the most basic way of playing this song man hey i appreciate you all man i'm praying for you all much love stay blessed let's go